With India's broad plan to go self-reliant, every crisis is an opportunity for the country. The latest crisis being faced by the country is the ban on palm oil export by Indonesia. However, this could be a blessing in disguise for the country. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Jasmine Malhotra. And in this video, I will explain how India can convert the embedding palm oil crisis into an opportunity to boost its own palm oil sector. Let's begin. Palm oil is in news again. Last time it was in the news when the radical Mahathir Mohamad regime was in power in Malaysia. Indo-Malaysia ties had deteriorated under Mahathir Mohamad, which had created a risk of palm oil shortages as India used to import most of its palm oil from Malaysia. At that time, India substituted Malaysian imports by moving towards Indonesia. Now, Indonesia is looking to block exports of palm oil. It may seem like a fresh crisis, but this time it could be an opportunity for India to become self-reliant in palm sector. How? Let's find out. Indonesia has announced a ban on the export of palm oil to other countries starting April 28. It has imposed the ban due to the shortage and soaring prices of edible oil in the Southeast Asian nation. Indonesia is the biggest producer of palm oil, but the prices of the commodity have been rising due to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. For India, Indonesia's decision to ban palm oil is actually quite significant. India is the largest importer of palm oil in the world and imports around 8 to 8.5 million tons of palm oil every year. Over half of its edible oil imports are driven by palm oil. Nearly 45% of India's palm oil comes from Indonesia and the rest is imported from Malaysia. India imports somewhere around 4 million tons of palm oil from Indonesia. And it is not just the quantity that matters, but also the important applications of palm oil across different industries. Palm oil and its derivatives are used in various industries including food products, detergents, cosmetics and biofuels. It is also used to manufacture daily consumption goods like soaps, margarine, shampoos, noodles, biscuits and chocolates. Palm oil shortages can therefore cause a shortage of several different consumer goods. Parley Products Senior Category Head Mayank Shah said that's not just for the food companies but for FMCG, fast-moving consumer goods companies at large because there are many other players beyond food firms including those who manufacture soaps and other things. So it's going to be very challenging. Santosh Meena, head research at Swastika Invest Mart, echoed a similar sentiment and said palm oil and its derivatives are used in producing several goods for daily consumption such as soaps, shampoos, biscuits and noodles. This will negatively affect FMCG companies like HUL, Nestle, Britannia, Godrej Consumer Products Limited, Mariko Limited, etc. The high prices will leave packaged food products, manufacturers, soap manufacturers and other personal care manufacturers with no other option than to raise prices and thus affecting their volumes. Now, India has the option of relying more on Malaysia. Today, a moderate regime is in power in Malaysia and bilateral ties between New Delhi and Kuala Lumpur are on the right track. However, importing palm oil from Malaysia could subject India to further risk all over again. What if another Mahathir Mohamed comes to power and embitters ties with India? What if global supply chains get disrupted due to another war in another corner of the world? So India needs self-reliance. And India does have a plan in place. During his Independence Day speech last year, PM Modi announced a scheme to boost palm oil production in high rainfall regions in the country. Since palm oil can be cultivated in regions with high rainfall, India's northeast carry a lot of potential in this particular area. Presently, Assam's Golpura and Kamrup districts are engaged in palm oil cultivation, but there is a need to expand the cultivation area even further. India presently produces palm oil on over 300,000 hectares of land and an additional area of 650,000 hectares is to be brought under palm oil cultivation by 2025 to 26 as per the National Mission on Edible Oils Oil Palm. The idea is to enhance crude palm oil production to 11.2 lakh tons by 2025 to 26 and up to 28 lakh tons by 2029 to 30. This can effectively make India self-reliant in the palm oil sector while also boosting the country's agricultural sector and food processing industries. All that India needs to do now is fast-track its plans, offer special incentives 
to farmers in the northeast and go self-reliant in the palm oil sector as soon as possible. Indonesia's ban on palm oil exports is thus a blessing in disguise for India.